I think innovation happens when people understand problems that the, the people in, in our business processes have or that our customers have, when there is an understanding of problems and, 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 and our people in IT have the possibilities of see how technology can be applied to solving those problems. So therefore to, to, to make sure that our people in IT are deeply engaging in the business, try to really get a deeper understanding and have a deep uh, conversation with, uh, with the different business stakeholders to really understand what are their problems, what are their challenges, and then they, that they also then keep with them the, the, the possibilities that new technologies bring and to see how they can uh, apply I think it's another thing is, is to be good at, uh, which I don't think that we are today, but we can for sure develop that to utilize also uh, some of our partners and, and vendors in a better way and sort of orchestrating the, the conversation between them and, and, and some of our, our business stakeholders. I think those are some of the things that you can do. No, but I think for sure there is, I mean, big organizations tend to have a bit of administrative processes and, and a bit of bureaucracy and we are no, uh, um, I mean, we are like that also in, in, in Volvo. So I, so I think there is an element of that. I, I think that smaller companies is probably easier. On the other hand, there are some other things that compensate for that or that, that uh, goes the other way around. And, and, and one is, of course, that we, we might have a bit of critical mass. We can afford to have some, some you know, uh, people that that work with uh, more dedicated with, with innovation matters. Um, we have more complexity in, in the business that I think also drive innovation. So, so I think that there are pros and cons of this. Yeah. No, but I think this to continue to be able to, to support the evolution of the business, I think that personally I, I really like the production aspect of IT also. To the, you know, you feel that we, nowadays there is no part of Volvo that functions without IT. And, and I like that. I, I, I'm, I'm a bit of a production guy, so I like that, that part. And then, of course, I think it's, it's the development of an organization and the development of people that gets me going. <laughs>